I'm not sure about this new tradition. You know how he can be. How oh, they can be. They're both a little on edge. Oh, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, but they are entertaining. But maybe a little bit too entertaining as role models for Webby. No worse than your mother. <laughs> yes, but you didn't disagree. No. Oh, could you please not do that in public? And you know, I think that Merv and Heather are fine role models. They're fun. Better than this stupid movie idea. Hey, listen, the whole movie idea, people have lost the tradition of getting together, <laughs> families and friends, and enjoying time, building character. Tradition! You should try it sometime. Watching old horror movies? Yeah, it'll be fun. They're bad. They can be so bad, though. All the better to make fun of. Come on, you guys. It's going to be fun. Okay. And remember the name thing? He's trying to be Americanized now. It's been a hundred years. How long does it take him to Americanize? Ah, showtime. Count, enter my house. Enter freely and of your own will. You are Vincent. Just that my expense would be repaid in revenge of lakes of blood. Enough already. Heather, you look ravishing. May I take your capes? Excellent recovery, Vincent. You know, the demons of hell shall stay quiet for quite a while, while longer. Mm, the demons of hell can stand to do a little bit more housework. <laughs> yes, the demons of hell shall be running screaming in pain if they go shopping with you one more time, my dear. Uh, to be dead, to be truly dead, that would be glorious. That can be arranged. <laughs> <laughs> Heather, Merv, welcome. It's so good to see you. Mm -hmm. Merv, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the movie is about to start. We should go in. To you, my dear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To you. Ah, uh, uh, okay. uh, Spike. Come on, Spike. Ah. Uh, I have been looking forward to this. Alright, where's my mother? The remote! Ah! Uh, of course. Alright, let's figure this so let out. Let us start this film. Alright. This is The Terror, Jack Nicholson, and Boris Karloff. Okay. Oh, Boris. He's uh, always yeah. such a wannabe. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I was separated from my regiment at Arstadt. Do you have any drinking water? I'm very thirsty. Clear water from the mountain. Thank you. I... I'd like a word with you. You never said goodbye to me. In fact, you never even said hello. It isn't an act of treason to talk to me. I'm a weary, disillusioned soldier, and you're the only pleasant sight that I've seen in seven months. Go ahead, it's permitted for you to laugh. Wait, you haven't told me your name. My name's Elaine. Come on, I want to show you something. and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, I'll poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this for his sake. A boy born in Joplin, Missouri was fascinated by anything with wheels and a motor. The odds of him winning both the Daytona 500 and the Brickyard 400 in the same year? One in 195 million. The odds of the child being diagnosed with autism? One in 88. I'm Jamie McMurray, and my niece has autism. Learn more at autismspeaks.org signs. 
Channel 12 is the local access channel dedicated to bringing you local and regional governmental coverage. Channel 99 is now Access Channel 99 and is dedicated to public programming. Access brings local interest and entertainment to you with classic movies, local sports, and events of interest, and much more. Remember to tune into Access Channel 99 for movies of all kinds and see the schedule online at moreheadaccess.org for Access Channel 99. Snacks left the good stuff, you know. I just the blood meal, mm -hmm. yes. Can I have some of that? I think these guys sure. would like it. Sure, right. Heather, you want to come to the kitchen with me? <coughs> Thanks, girls. <laughs> yes, things that the women in the kitchen. I'm old fashioned, but I think that's a little much, don't you? Listen. When you've been around them as long as I have, this is great alone time and great girl talk time. You know, when I'm older, it's sure as hell gonna be a lot different than this. yourself, young man. You're safe here. Here, take this for your strength. God knows help is a very rare thing in this forest. Take it whenever it's offered to you. That bird, he attacked me. I'm afraid you're wrong. She's quite harmless. Here, hold out your arm. She only seems dangerous. Actually, she's very affectionate, which is very unusual for a bird. Take it back. Oh, that is too bad. Little girl liked him, didn't you? This is Gustav. He brought you here. Gustav fed your horse. Where is Helene? This is Helene. No, not the bird. The girl. Where is the girl? There is no girl. Of course there's a girl. I saw her. She spoke to me. Perhaps you were tired from your long journey and, and had a pleasant illusion. Gustav, have you ever seen a girl here? Gustav sometimes imagines things. If he could speak, I think we would find that his mind is warped. Such is the will of God to endow and deprive. Only thing of beauty you'll find in this forest is Helene.
afraid you'd drown. So you are real. I started to think. Who are you? trying to kill me. She knows not what she does. Her will is not her own. You mean she's insane? Possessed. She needs your help. Help? How can I help her? The castle of the Baron von Lepp. You will find her there. I can say no more. There's great danger. Find Eric. Eric knows. The good old days. Oh yeah, yeah, the good old days. Back in the, you know, we used to go around hunting virgins all yeah, the time. Some terrorizing villagers. <laughs> well, the problem with that is they made all these movies and now everybody's wise to it. Yes, yes. We get out there, we get staked in a heartbeat. Yes, that's true. Well, you know the best trick the devil ever did, my friend, was to convince people that he did not exist. And maybe we can get out and do some real hell raising. Well, I'll tell you what, if the movie sucks, maybe we can. So far as combat is concerned, I think the stress is going to be the same in any kind of a war. World War I is called a shell shock. Then we came up to World War II and it became the psychoneuroses, and then we came into Korea and it was battle fatigue, and then we came to Vietnam where PTSD really started. I had learned about stress in flight school. But combat stress is a lot different. You can become a detriment to your unit. You can become a problem. You can become a problem at home. You need to have the strength to go and get help. You have to make them know that if they get in trouble, there's somebody to help them, and all they got to do is reach out. The, uh, there's no stigma in it. Ask your squad leader, platoon leader, platoon sergeant for help. You get shot up, you don't hesitate about going for treatment. But a lot of times you can be wounded in your mind. There's absolutely nothing wrong by bringing that to other people's attention and asking for help. Fog shrouded streets, gangsters, crooks, private eyes, and dangerous dames. Classic mysteries and thrillers are featured every week on Mystery Mondays on Access Channel 99. Sherlock Holmes, Dick Tracy, Bulldog Drummond, and other classic films run every Monday on Access Channel 99 or on Digital Channel 68 in the entire Metro on Cable One. Hang up the trench coat and curl up for Mystery Mondays right here on Access Channel 99. So, Heather, I've been meaning to ask you, why are you still married to him if you hate him so much? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I do and I don't. He's, uh, I mean, he is still pretty groovy and, well, he is Dracula after all. Uh, uh, he's Merv now. <laughs> yes, we, uh, do train our men very well. <sighs>
ride to Colburn's long and far safer by day. If you leave now, you can rejoin your regiment by dusk. Where is Gustav? What do you want him for? I want him to show me where the castle of the Baron von Leff is. No one's lived in the castle for years. And besides, Gustav has gone away for a few days. Perhaps you'd show me the way to the castle. Why are you so interested in the Baron? I never said that I was. But the girl that I followed last night and spoke to, I believe that she lives there. Told you. There is no girl. That is nonsense. You recognize her, don't you? No. I'll find the castle myself. No, wait! Don't go to the castle. I have told you the truth. There is no girl. Mark me, you are getting yourself into things beyond your understanding. Leave now while you can. I intend to find her. Please don't tell the Baron that I am here. of the government of France. I order you to open this door. Your pardon, young sir. I was at my devotions. I did not hear you. I'm sorry, sir. But surely I made enough noise to awaken the dead. The government of France. I've seen the uniforms of many governments in my time. What would a soldier of France be wanting here? Shelter, for one thing. Permit me to introduce myself, Lieutenant André Duvalier, 5th Chasseur. Baron Victor Frederick von Lepp. I suggest you will find better shelter at the village inn. Thank you, Baron. But I've had my fill of village inns. Surely you wouldn't want to inconvenience a French officer. Come in. What you see, Lieutenant, are the remains of a noble house. Relics, ghosts of past glories. 
A noble heritage is something to be proud of, Baron. I'm afraid we've forgotten that in France. Ah, oh, yes. Your name, Duvalier. Your family. My father was the Comte de Valier. Was until they spilled his head into a basket one morning in the Place de la Concorde. Forgive me for reviving painful memories. You must be cold and tired, Lieutenant. Some cognac? I'd like that, Baron. Thank you. Sit down. Stefan? Yes, Baron. Cognac for our guest. Yes, Baron. Baron, I wonder if I might ask, who was the young woman I saw in the window before you came to the door? Young woman? Oh, I'm afraid you're mistaken. No, I'm not mistaken. I saw her. Dark hair and eyes, about 20. Well, I'm quite sure you think you saw someone, but... Baron, I am in full possession of my faculties. Please. Allow me to show you something. You should never believe everything your eyes tell you, young man. Is that the girl you think you saw? Yes, of course. Uh, before you say anything else, examine the portrait closely, the signature, and above all, the date. But that's 20 years ago. It's incredible. It's the same girl and she hasn't changed a bit. She has been dead for 20 years. With all respect, Baron, for a ghost, she's a very active young woman. You're speaking of the Baroness von Lepp, my wife. I beg your pardon, Baron. I meant no offense. Perhaps the resemblance was not quite as much as I had thought. The girl at the window... Lieutenant Duvalier, the only occupants of this castle are Stefan and myself. You were the first visitor since the turn of the century. Of course, Baron. Stefan will see you to your room. Thank you. Heather? Webby? What are they plotting? What are you so suspicious about? Uh, you've never been married to Heather. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, this is America. Hey, you gotta watch what you're doing around these girls. You know, this isn't the old country, you know. You know, you can't just rely on Van Helsing to be uh, taking care of your exes. Ah, Van Helsing. A very worthy fool. Yeah, but he, never, he wasn't the same ever since he changed his name to Halen. It just, the guy's a jerk. At age 34, Peter Herrick joined the Navy Reserve and was deployed to Iraq. When the mortar round hit, I was completely knocked out. When he returned home, Paralyzed Veterans of America was there to help. We advocate, we educate, and we process claims through the VA, and we follow that claim from the beginning to the end. Without Paralyzed Veterans of America, I really honestly believe I'd still be in the hospital. You can help our Paralyzed Veterans. To learn more, visit pva.org.
Why are you still married to her? If you guys are so miserable. Ah, uh, my friend, my friend. We aren't so miserable. Yes, good and bad, but uh, she still has it. She still has something that uh, I still am fond of. There are times I wish to stake her, of course, but uh, in America it is very different. And unfortunately I do not have Van Helsing around to assist me with my ex-wives. Well, this is America, man. You know, A, it's not the old world. B, if something happens between you two, and you can get a divorce in America, she gets half. Half? Half! You've been around a long time, brother. <laughs> Ladies. My dear. What were you guys talking about? Uh, the weather. Yeah. It's only sunny outside. Hunting season's coming up yes. soon. Yes, hunting season. the movie. That's nice. this door. Do you hear me? Unlock this door, I'm gonna shoot through the door.
shot, so he did not see me. He's a strange one, though. He shows no fear. Well, he must leave at once. You think perhaps he's not merely a traveler? Why do you say that? He might have heard things in the village. Oh, nonsense. He's a soldier. He doesn't listen to old wives' tales. The important thing is that he leave with all due speed. I shall see to it, sir. But of his own accord. We must show him the respect his position and rank demand. How put that? I understand, sir. intrude on it dead as well as a living if i intrude Stephen, i shall leave it to my host to so inform me why have you come to castle von lepp what do you want here you seem to have things strangely confused in your mind you're the servant not i i'll ask the questions this was once a place of worship why have the holy objects been removed the Baron ordered it. When his wife, the Baroness Elsa, passed away. Then this became her tomb? No, just the entrance to it. The Von Lepp family crypt lies below, beneath the cemetery. She rests there with four centuries of Von Lepp's. That's been sealed for 20 years. Nonsense. It must have been open last night. The girl must have passed through here. As the Baron told you, sir, there is no girl. No girl. Oh, we shall see. Come with me to the stable, Stefan. I wish to attend to my horse. Wait, Lieutenant. That's what I came to tell you. Your horse is gone. Apparently it bolted during the night. Impossible. You're lying. Why? No, sir, I'm not lying. Hear me well, Stefan. I'm sick of all of these lies. First the old woman, then the baron, and now you. The old woman? You mean... Never mind. What about my horse? I shall get you another one from the village at once, sir. Believe me, Lieutenant, I have no desire to interfere with your departure from this castle. You seem very anxious to be rid of me. Is it because you're afraid I might find out about Eric? Eric? So there is an Eric. That at least was not a lie. Lieutenant, please, don't involve yourself in these dead matters. There is nothing here but an old man and his decaying memories. I beg of you, leave him in peace. Commercial break. We'll have to go to the kitchen. Yeah. Again. Mm. Guess we'll guess we'll have to do that. Oh. Ah, your daughter. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You're not going anywhere. You're not going out. You can stay right here. So why is the uh, problem with this with this boy? Oh, the kid she likes down the road. Is yeah. A, he's a werewolf. Yeah. A dog? You will let her eat the dog? <laughs> Preaching to the choir. Uh, she should find herself a nice vampire boy. But I like one of those Twilight punks. Vampires do not spark. <laughs> Hell no. Did you know kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs? Totally. Did you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know terry cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. it's totally true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you guys know statistically friendly kids have more friends? Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? Parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child is protected. So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig.
Clean kitchen surfaces, utensils, and hands with soapy water. One in six Americans will get sick from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.com. Classic Kung Fu Dumb Dances are featured on Access Channel 99. Top Saki Cinema as the action legends of Kung Fu at their best on Access Channel 99. Check the schedule at moreheadaxis.org and tune in to Access Channel 99 on Morehead Cable or on Digital Channel 68 in the entire Metro Cable on Top Saki Cinema on Access Channel 99. Hey, stop fighting! She should get half. Half? Now remember, this is America. So even though she does get half if you divorce... He's in America now, so you'll get half. If something should happen to her, you keep everything. And if he's not around, you'd get the whole thing. Join me, Lieutenant? No, thank you, Baron. I've just come from the stables. My horse is gone. Your horse is gone? Yes, I believe it was stolen, Baron. Oh, impossible, Dick. The stable door, perhaps, was left open and the animal bolted. <laughs> Not an unusual thing. In itself, no. But there are certain other mysteries I would like to have explained, Baron, and I mean to have them explained. How dare you take that tone with me? I don't mean to be abrupt, but I will have answers. Well? Now, why did you remove the portrait of the Baroness from the wall? I sent it away for renovation. The, the dampness of these walls puts a mold on the pigment. You evade very cleverly, Baron. Can you also explain the violin music and the girl in the chapel last night? You saw her again. So you admit there's a girl? Ilsa. Ilsa, is that her name? Answer me, Baron. Please, please, leave me in peace, If I you? leave you now, Baron, I will come back with a company of my men and I will tear this place down around your ears until I find her. Is that clear? Very clear. All right, now, what happened to the Baroness? Was her death violent? Yes, her death was violent. How did she die? You spare me nothing. Twenty years ago, I was not the man you're looking at now. This land, this estate prospered. My people lived well and were happy. My wife had died some years before, and I was lonely. Then, one day in the village, I saw Ilsa. A peasant girl who'd come to live there with her mother. Oh, I could have taken her. Those nobles have taken the daughters of peasants since the beginning of time, but I loved her. And she became the Baroness von Lepp. Almost immediately afterwards, I was called away for military service, a rebellion in the Polish province. I was gone for nearly a year. When the fighting was over, I hurried home to my bride. No one knew of my coming. And I surprised her in her room. She was not alone. She laughed at me, said her bed was not for me to find another. And with my own hands, I killed her. And her lover? Stefan took care of him. Later, I gave out a story that she had died of some malaise. No one ever knew of her betrayal of me or how, in fact, she did die. Except for Stefan. For 20 years, I've not set foot beyond the walls of this castle. I've lived here alone, but the memory of the dreadful thing I did that night, that is my penance. Ladies. Hi. Welcome back. Alright. Movie's about to start. We ready? Yep. If something oh, should happen to her, you can keep everything. And if he's not around, you can get the whole thing. Really? Buzz, what's up, man? You left some leaves burning out here. Yeah, I, I just, I, there was a, I had, just came in just for a second. Come on, man. If it's too hot to touch, it's too hot to leave. You could torch the whole neighborhood. It's a good point there, Smokey. 
Nine out of ten wildfires are caused by humans. Only you can prevent wildfires. Packers. Viking. Packers. Viking. Packers. Viking. Viking. Red state. Blue state. Vegan. Carnivore. We come from different places. Uptown. Downtown. Night Owl. Early bird. We come to different conclusions. Half empty. Half full. But when we live united, we create real, lasting change in the building blocks of life. The education, income, and health of our communities, <laughs> our families, united. even the person next to us. Live united. Real change won't happen without you. <laughs> so give, advocate, volunteer. Live united. Sign up at liveunited.org. <laughs> watching online videos like this one. Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. Ghost of Ilsa has come back to relieve you of your penance, is that it? Yes. How long has the spirit been coming to the castle? It, it all began two years ago. At first I was terrified, but now I, I'm eager for our every meeting. One more question, Baron. Has anyone else except yourself seen the spirit? Stefan, for instance. You think I'm mad, don't you? Right now, Baron, I'm not sure just what I think. Ah, but don't forget, you saw her too. Perhaps we're both mad. sounds strange to me here by the sea. It is your name. Don't you remember? My name is Helene. The old woman told me. She lies. She summoned me from the sea. You must go back. Your soul is troubled, Ilsa. Go back? To Eric? To the sea. Only when the sea enters the crypt. We shall rest there together, he and I, beneath the sea. It is an evil thing. You must not do it, Ilsa. I must obey the old woman. The Frenchman, he can help you, Ilsa. Andre? one calls. She warns you, Gustav. Do not interfere. She's been patient with you long enough, but no more.
Tetragrammaton. Metroton was Adla. Metheos Sabaoth. Oh, powers of darkness. Let the spirit of Ilsa sink deeper, deeper into this mortal form. Helene, be as though you never were. Spirit of Ilsa, see through these eyes, speak through these lips. Do my bidding, for only then shall you find release from your torment. <laughs> you are becoming stronger now, quite strong. Soon you shall have the strength to carry out my vengeance. Vengeance. And the dark powers will set you free, for I have promised them a richer price. <laughs> afternoon. Who are you? An appropriate question, but I'm afraid I'm the one who should be doing the asking. I'm invited in, of course. What do you want of me? You realize that this is the property of the Baron Victor von Lepp? And that is forbidden for any of the villagers to set foot here, much less make it their home? How long have you been living here? Only two months. Perhaps I should tell you. You see, I've just come from Kleinschmidt, where you are not totally unknown. You've lived here slightly more than two years. Your name is Katerina, and you originally come from Colvin, where you were quite unpopular because of uh, certain activities. They call you Katerina the heretic, the witch. They were fools. Why do you live here? What do you want? I haven't any money. This was the only place that wasn't burned to the ground, so I, I brought my things in here. Where did you find the girl? is no girl. I saw her. She was sitting in this chair. There is no girl. I know what she is. Old woman, I know what she is. Listen to me and listen to me very carefully. I don't know what you want, nor do I fully understand your black abilities. But if the two of you have not returned to Colbin within one night, I shall come back here and kill you with my own hands and burn this place to the ground once and for all. And you know who once lived here all those years ago? You know who lived here? Eric. Has the Frenchman gone? No. Why not? He now refuses to leave. I don't think he will leave of his own accord. He must. I gave you definite orders. Baron, no one knows this officer is here. If he should never arrive in Copeland. Are you suggesting that... It's the only way. That I will never countenance. God knows I have enough upon my conscience without the senseless murder of a young man who never harmed me. How do you know what harm he plans? You want him wandering around the castle? Do you want him down in the crypt? Enough. The crypt is no concern of yours.
What is the meaning of this intrusion? I'm sorry, Baron. I, I thought I heard voices. Does that give you the right to burst into my room unannounced? I beg your pardon, Baron. Stefan has gone to the village to get you another horse. It will save us both embarrassment if he will leave the moment he returns. There can be no doubt of it, sir. Ilsa? You're doing the best thing, Lieutenant. The Baron often does things which may seem strange to you and me, but the death of the Baroness was a severe shock to him. One from which I fear he has never fully recovered. I understand completely, Stefan. Tell me something, Stefan. If I can. Who is Eric? You recall the Baron spoke of returning from the war and finding the Baroness with another? Yes. Eric was that other. Gustav, she has seen you, she loves you, you must help her tonight, her soul cries out for release, go back.
At least I had a steak. <laughs> up on sex, don't give up on birth control either. There are more methods than you think. Find yours at bedsider.com. Did you buy the flashlight and the batteries? Yes. Did you make sure we're not missing anything in the first aid kit? Yep. Did you go through the plan with the kids again? Yes. The more you prepare today, the more you'll be able to reduce the devastating effects of a tornado, an earthquake, a power outage, or any other disaster. Get a kit, make a plan, be informed. Visit ready.gov. When I have an asthma attack, I feel scared. Sometimes my parents have to take me to the hospital. I feel like a fish with no water. You know how to react to their asthma attacks. Here's how to prevent them. Call 1-866-NO-ATTACKS. Visit www.noattacks.org or call your doctor. Because even one attack is one too many. Return to the range for Western Wednesdays on Access Channel 99. Classic Westerns featuring John Wayne, Roy Rogers, The Lone Ranger, and Randolph Scott, and many more are featured on Western Wednesdays. Corral the schedule at moreheadaccess.org and tune in to Access Channel 99 on Moorhead Cable or on Digital Channel 68 in the entire metro on Cable 1. Watch Western Wednesdays on Access Channel 99. Evening, my dear. A ball and chain, I'll throw for you. Webigail? How could you possibly always know what I'm doing? I was a kid once, I understand. But until you're smarter and you understand the consequences, you'll be staying here and watching the movie with us. for you so long. I've been searching for you to help you, but you wander in strange places at strange hours. You're really here. Of course I'm here. And I'll never leave you again. Never. When the night comes, I get cold. My arms and my shoulders get cold. I don't like the night. I want to be free of it. You are free. Only in here. In this holy place. No. Everywhere with me. You must come away with me now. No, I can't. Not until... Until what? the crypt. It must be destroyed, and with it the dead. Don't speak of the dead anymore. You're with me now. I am possessed of the dead. You're a warm, living woman. Who has told you these things? The dead. In Paris, they're doing wonderful things to discover the nature of the mind. 
I'll take you there. There are doctors who can free you from this. From the dead? The dead cannot reach out from the grave. You must come away with me now. No. I'm afraid. The night. There's nothing to be afraid of. I dare not. Do not ask me. I beg of you. You must, or we can never be together. No. No, I cannot. I dare not. 
Look at me, Victor. Elsa. Why do you torment me so? You must do it, Victor. Only then can we be together. Only then, Victor. I cannot. I dare not. My soul will be damned to eternal perdition. Let me see who you really are. No! No, go back! You must not! No! 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 no. Let me go! What kind of a woman are you? Where are you? Who are you? doctor in the village? His illness is not of the flesh. I've seen this before. In a day or two, his mind will return. We can only wait. The Baron tells me you've been with him since the Polish campaign. That is true. Then you must have been in this castle for 20 years. You must know every section of the estate. He's regaining consciousness. No. He often moans during these seizures. You have keys. Fetch them. I'd like to see the chapel. The chapel? Yes, if you don't mind. Rusted solid. Do you have a crowbar? Yes, come with me. What is it? That light there. That's the Baroness's bedroom in the tower. The room's been sealed ever since that night. Not even the Baron went in there. Come with me. Nothing. Baron, if you'll permit me, I think that I can explain. Stephanie. Forgive me, Baron. I only Stephanie. have one. Take this gun. Escort this gentleman from the castle. If he resists, kill him. Yes, Baron. Lieutenant. My love, my love. I am here, Victor. I 
am weary, Elsa. My soul cries out for relief. There is but one way, Victor. No, no. The holy covenants of God forbid it. You will be forgiven. If I could be sure. Take your life as you took mine. Let your own hand destroy you. And bring us together forever. Forever. No more torment, Victor. Forever. Forever. I will, Elsa. I will. You know, my dear, the ball and chain that was very inspiring. <laughs> well, that might have been a stake and a uh, couple inches higher. Uh... <laughs> you know, honey, are we as passionate as the Dracula Barlows? Got a Mia. That was a good one. I love you. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. The Beverly Hillbillies. Dragnet. Rocky Jones Space Cadet. One Step Beyond. The Adventures of Robin Hood. I love to watch it. <laughs> and many more classics of great television are beginning every weekday afternoon from 4 to 7 p.m. right here on Access Channel 99. Television you can watch with your kids. On. Do you want me to go tell Mervyn Heather? No, 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 no. They've seen it before. It's all right. They know this part. It's, uh, it's a classic. They... Why can't I see Stephen? Is being a werewolf so bad? You know what? I... Honey, we have lots of werewolf friends. Don't make it like it's an issue or something. And and why do you want to see him? Well, he's interesting and he's nice to me. <sighs> well, you know what? You can bring him over. Maybe we can get a nice game of fetch going or something. Oh, I think you guys won't regret it, I promise. Mm. If he starts shedding all over the place, he's out of here. <laughs> now you're starting to think smart. I promise you, Lieutenant, if you return to Von Lev Castle, I shall not hesitate to kill you. lie to me about the girl. <coughs> Call it off. Doesn't matter now. You're too late. Tonight he damns himself. Yes, even now she taunts him to his own eternal doom. You control the girl just as you control that bird. <laughs> How? 
Mesmerism? Mesmerism, you fool. Why? Answer me, old woman, or I'll break your neck. To avenge myself on the Baron von Lepp. She will drive him to God's one unpardonable sin. Suicide. For what offense? What has the Baron done to you? He killed my son, Eric. Eric was your son? Yes. And tonight the Baron pays for Eric's life with his own immortal soul. She spoke of destroying the crypt. Too late. Too late. <laughs> To him, he's locked himself in the crypt. Eric is avenged. Eric avenged? She's used the girl as a puppet to drive the Baron to suicide. But why? She thinks it was the Baron that killed her son. She never knew it was you. What do you mean? He killed my Eric. Eric is her son? You murderer! No, wait! Don't you see now it was all a lie? The Baron did return that night to find Eric with the Baroness and he did kill her. But there was a struggle, and in the fight, it was not Eric who died, but the Baron. I killed the Baron. Then Eric is still alive? He took the Baron's place, and for 20 years, no one has known. But he took the Baron's place in mind, as well as body. In his mind, he is the Baron von Lepp. The crypt. She's told him to flood the cellars. Now they'll both be killed. Eric! Flood the cellars? How? There's a tunnel that leads from the sea to the crypt. Come with me. He's locked it from the inside. Keep on here. I'll try and get in through the chapel. I may need you. No, no, not the chapel. I may not enter the house of God. I have made my pact with another.
Now, Victor, bring the sea into the crypt to mantle us forever. together again, Victor, together with our love here beneath the sea. Come to me, my love. Draw the veil. Look at me. And see how eagerly I await your embrace. damned you as you damned me. The part of me that loved you lies there, Victor, rotting in the coffin. Look at it. See what your evil love has done to me and die with that vision in your brain. Why have you done this to me? I am the spirit of Ilsa that your unholy sin gave over to the dark powers. But now, by giving your immortal soul to them, I will be free. Eric. <laughs> It's over. It's over.
over. Do you understand? You're free now. Free? Andre. part of the fun. <laughs> and then the killing. Yes, and you know, if we kill each other, it might happen, but in the meantime, there is a lot of living to do. Well, I can see Stephen now. The werewolf? Yeah. My dear, that is tantamount to bestiality. You really what? Heather, my dear, you beware of the wrath of Dracula. All right, well, listen, we gotta go. Uh, I'm sure you... That I'm married to. The sun's coming up pretty soon, guys. We better get ready. Right oh, time. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm. Tell you what. Great having you guys out here. Uh, yeah. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Absolutely. Our gifts. Right. What am I thinking? Of course. Thank you. Oh, a gentleman. I'll get yours, young lady. I'll get yours. <laughs> Ah, uh, gentlemen. Good evening, Vincent. And good tradition. It's a good time, isn't it? Yeah. Good tradition? First of all, that doesn't make grammatical sense. And second of all, it was my idea to come over here. You didn't even want to come. You just wanted we'll to see We'll do it again next week. Next week. Same right. thing. Every single right. Good luck with that. Oh, my God. <sighs> it was fun, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Can you want to fool around? Uh, yeah, but no whips, chains, frying pans. Well, I thought you were always the imaginative one, but okay. Oh my god.